Good morning. Today's lesson is 1.9. Divide with decimals. Our essential question, how do you divide whole numbers and decimals by decimals? Connect. Find each quotient to discover a pattern. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 40 divided by 20 is 2. 400 divided by 200 is 2. When you multiply both the dividend and the divisor by the same power of 10, the quotient is the same. You can use this to help you divide decimals. Let's unlock the problem. Tammy is training for a triathlon. In a triathlon, athletes compete in three events, swimming, cycling, and running. She cycled 66.5 tenths miles in three and a half hours. If she cycled at a constant speed, how far did she cycle in one hour? So we're gonna divide the 66.5 by the 3.5 hours. First, we're going to estimate using compatible numbers. 66 is close to 60, and 3 is close to 3. 6 goes into 3, 3 2 times, and add the 0, so it's going to be 20. This is the important part. Whenever you have a decimal outside, when you have a decimal just here, you're going to put the decimal right above. But whenever you have the decimal out here, you have to move it to the very end and make this be a whole number. So how many ever spaces you move it on the outside, you also have to move it on the inside. So on this one, I'm going to have to move it over one space to make it a whole number. So that means I'm going to move it over one space here, and my decimal is now going to go there. So I'm going to divide first. So 35 can't go into 6, but it can go into 66. It goes in one time. 1 times 35 is 35. I'm going to subtract. 6 from 5 is 1. 6 from 3 is 3. Then I'm going to bring down my 5. Now I have 35 going into 315, which is about 9 times. Let's try that. 35 times 9. 9 times 5 is 45. Carry my 4. 9 times 7 is 27. Plus 4 is 31. So I'm going to put a 9 there. It's going to be 315. I subtract, I get 0. So Tammy cycled 19 miles in one hour. Evaluate reasonableness. Explain whether your answer is reasonable. Well, yes, because 19 is close to my estimate that I had of 20, so therefore it must be reasonable. Let's look at another example. So if you make the divisor a whole number by multiplying divisor and the dividend by, so on this case, since I have to move it over two places, I'm going to have to multiply it by 100. So if I multiply it by 100, then 5.7 times 100 is going to be 575, and 17.25 times 100 is going to be 1,725. So simply, I'm moving it over one, two times because I need it to be a whole number. Whatever I do to this number, I have to do here. I have to move it over one, two times so that my decimal is going to be there. Step two, we're going to divide. So 575 obviously can't go into one. 17, 172, but it can go into 1725 three times. 17, or I'm sorry, 575 times three. Five times three is 15. Seven times three is 21, plus one is 22. Three times five is 15, plus two is 17. So that's 17 to five. And when I subtract that, I get zero. You can check your work. Remember how yesterday I found an error in my work? And by doing that, you simply multiply it out. So 5.75 times 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Oh, I already did that. I already did it over here. So I'm actually just going to leave it right there. So 17.25 divided by 5.73 is 3. Let's do another example. So we're going to divide 37.8 divided by 0.14. So we're going to make the divisor to make the divisor a whole number by multiplying the divisor by, and it looks like we have to go over two spaces again. So that's going to be multiplying it by 100. So I'm going to multiply 0.14 times 100 to get it to be 14, because I need this to be a whole number, 1, 2. And then I'm going to multiply 37.8 by 100 and it's going to be 3,780. Now, error alert, error alert. 
be careful to move the decimal point to the dividend at the same number of places that you move the decimal point. So if I move this one to, I've got to move this one to. There's not a zero there, so I'm going to have to add a zero to get my decimal point over two places. One, two, one, two. And my decimal goes above there. Then you're simply going to divide. 14 goes into 37 two times. 14 times 2 is 28. I'm going to subtract. I uh, can't take the 2 away, so then I have 17 from 8 is going to be 9. Bring down my 8. 14 goes into 98. Let's try 7. So I get 28, and I get 7, 8, 9. I get 98, which is actually the exact number, which is kind of cool. And I get 0. Bring down my 0. It's going to be 0 because I can't put 0 in that, right? So my answer is going to be 270. All right. All right, with the share and show, first you have to rewrite it. So it says 1080 divided by 135. Again, remember, I have to make it a whole number. I'm going to move it over two places to make it a whole number. So I've got to move this over two places. So my decimal is going to be there. And then I'm going to simply divide. So I have 135 goes into, can't go into 1, can't go into 10, can't go into 108, but it can go into 1,080. Let's try 8. So 135 times 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 3 is 24. Plus 4 is 8. 8 times 1 is 8. So we have 880. It's not right because I forgot my 2 up here, which would actually make that instead of being an 8, it would be a 10. So it does go in evenly. So I'm going to put my 8 right here. Make sure you have it above so it's a whole number. 1080. I subtract. I get 0. So my answer is 8. And if I'm looking at dollars, I would make it, since it's a whole number, it would be $8. Um, I just want to set up a couple more with you just so you know how to do it. So we have 26.4 divided by 1.76. And again, I'm going to move this over two spaces, so that means this has to be over two spaces. There's nothing there, so I have to add a zero. My decimal is going to be there. Make sure you line everything up. I'll do a couple more of those just to make sure you have it lined up. So on this one, I have 75 divided by 12.5. I'm going to move my decimal over one space. At the end of a whole number is kind of technically decimal. Since I move this one over, I have to move this one over. Put a zero. That means my decimal is going to go there. Let me do one more of these with you. Um, let's do this one right here. So if I'm doing this one, in order to make this a whole number, I move it over two spaces. Because I did that two spaces, I have to do this two spaces. So that means my decimal is going to go right there. All right, the rest are going to work with a partner, or you can work with me. Good luck.